Airsoft. Yo dudes, today we're at Ground Zero Airsoft. This site's absolutely huge, so I brought up this map to help you understand what the objectives are of this game. Our spawn is at the stag camp, and the enemy spawn in the village. Our objective is to raise the flag in each of the objectives on their side of the map. Once we've done this, there's a final objective of Firebase Charlie. There's other objectives going on around the map also, but because this site's so huge and it's our first time here, we decide to focus on the main objective. We decide to try and surprise the enemy by going all the way around the outskirts of the map and attacking them from behind. The majority of our forces head straight up the middle, so this should cause a good distraction for us to get behind the enemies without getting noticed. You join us at this location of the map, heading up the hill towards the chapel. Today I'm playing with my buddy Josh. This is his regular site, so he's acting as my guide and showing me the good routes to take. At this point, we have no idea if, or even when, we're going to run into enemies. So you always have to be ready, because you never know what's around the next corner. I spot an enemy sniper and point him out to Josh. At this point we've come so far on the flank that we want to make sure that the kill is precise and clean. Since at this point we're unseen, we keep moving up, scouting the area, making sure there's no one else around, and ensuring we take this guy out, making as little noise as possible. While I'm over focused on the first guy, Josh finds another sniper in the bushes and takes him out. But they were also playing so cautiously. It feels like they don't have teammates in front of us because otherwise they wouldn't be that cautious. That's the church, right? We cautiously continue to move up, and we encounter some of our teammates who pushed around the other side of the map. We try and set up in a position to overwatch the area, 
We anticipate that our teammates' movement has drawn some enemy attention. the attention of an enemy sniper and I get hit. After getting hit, I make my way to the nearest respawn zone to start my five minute cooldown before I can get back in the game. From there, I can see that the enemy are pushing back. They're trying to regain their flank and push us out. There's no way for me to rejoin this fight, as the enemy forces are overwhelming. I decide to push out, back round the way we came, and try and take some of the other objectives by surprise, where they may not know that we've got behind them. Some of my teammates also got taken out in that fight. I try and find a landmark so I can link up with them. Copy. I'm near the chapel. The other side of the valley to the chapel. I'm looking at the front door from the other side. With this enemy taken out, and some intel from my teammates that they see enemies on my side of the valley, I decide it must be greens on my right. Enemy location? I push up to see if I can get a shot on the enemies my teammates told me about, but they spot me. I decide the best course of action is to try and link up with what I assume is the teammates on my right. I 
I've now found myself at what I now know as the nest. Green, green, green. I've managed to establish some kind of orientation of where the friendlies are and where the enemies are. I decide to push around and try and take out those enemies I saw earlier in the bunker. There's enemies just here, on the edge of the ridge. After a short exchange of information with my teammates, I head into the jungle maze that is this airsoft site. Every turn is a gamble, and I decide the best way to stay alive is try and stay off the more open tracks and head into the dense vegetation Killing's enemy reorientates me, and I follow his path out, as this must lead to the enemies. I'm now in the midst of the enemies. I decide to back up, get some cover and take shots at these guys. I managed to work my way up towards the bunker. I somehow find Josh, and we slowly approach the bunker, trying to clear it out. Keep low and move slowly. We don't know how many enemies are going to be here.
we decide the best way to approach is to split up. I start slowly crawling up to the front of the bunker while Josh goes round. I let them know, and we move around to the chapel to sweep the area and make sure there's no enemies watching over us. There's a sniper here. Is he dead? Sorry, man. Really? It was only a little burst. Oh, you're on a... Fuck, I saw you first. <laughs> oh, fuck you know. Ow. Tell me everything you know. <laughs> huh? Tell me everything you know. Uh, give me all your money. Well, <laughs> oh, fucking help me find it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you know. oh, teammates catch up to us and we start clearing out the last enemies around the chapel. Now we need to make our way to Firebase Charlie for the final fight. with that is I have no idea where Firebase Charlie is. I 
I see my teammates taking the bunker. And I wait on the other side to provide some overwatch. Once they've moved in, we need to move out and find Firebase Charlie. I move around the corner and I see some twigs moving abnormally. I don't see a guy, but I don't want to take my chances. Especially with the two ghillie snipers we've been battling with all day. I couldn't tell if you were, the, if you were a guy. Turns out I was right. And it's my friend, I Snipe, hiding in the bushes. quickly now. The end of the day is approaching and we need to make it to Firebase Charlie. off the main road too early and ended up in the prison camp. After looking at the map, we make our way back onto the main road and it's a straight line down to Firebase Charlie. After we get there, we find out we're already in control of the objective. We work our way around the perimeter and try and take out any enemies that are trying to approach at the last minute. That just about does it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different style of gameplay. 
uh, we'll be playing at Ground Zero a lot more often and trying to find some more sniping spots because the area we played in this time was super jungly and impossible to snipe in. But if you enjoyed this kind of gameplay, the longer style, let me know and I'll make more of them.